There's boys like Justin who say that his mom is number one in his life and that he'd even want to date her if she was 20 years younger. Now, there's some, there's some interesting things about you guys. And now, before the break, I asked Rachel, was, you know, was she willing to just deal with what it is because it's not changing. Their relationship is not going to change. But I just want to fill the audience in on a little bit more about their relationship. The first thing is, um, tell me about these tattoos that you guys have, Catherine. Um, well we decided to get a matching tattoo and the <laughs> where's that one though i see his is on his leg or arm uh, below my hip yours is on a hip that's a kind of an intimate area i didn't want it to be seen okay <laughs> and um on your three-year anniversary rachel you guys got couples massages and then what did Catherine say after that well i decided to treat us both to a couples massage and um Catherine stated that she, you know she wishes she could have been there. She she would like to get a massage too, and I was just like, of course he had to call her, you know, right after our massage and go through, you know, and talk to his mom and everything. And I just kind of wanted it to be our day, our three years. That's a long time for me. But we and, don't even um, think about that though. They you know, when we call each other about the good other. and the it's bad, it's like a natural thing it, to us. Like we. If something fun, if we do something fun, of course we call each other and we're like, guess what we did? Um, so we always talk to each other about that. And she called me when we were there, so that's why I gave her a call back because we call people back. But I know that uh, you go behind Rachel's back to be with your mother. Um, sometimes we do, just because I know she's going to get angry. Do you understand um, that it, there is a problem when you have to lie to somebody that you're not with somebody? I just, I know she's going to get angry and like mm -hmm. I want to spend time. Like I hate. Um, like, I love them both to death, um, and I don't want to hurt one's feelings. Um, One thing you said, Justin, you said it. if your mom dies, you'd kill yourself. So would you no, really kill yourself, or is that just more figurative? I don't, I don't, yeah, that's figurative. Like, it's a, a part of me, like, I would die because, like, she's everything to me. She's, like, my, my guide mm -hmm. in life, because if, what if, if I don't know what died? to do... What if Rachel died? Like, I would be sad, and, <laughs> well, no, I would be sad, and, like, a part of me would die because I've been, like, I love her... I love her, and we've been through a lot together. Um, he can explain but, it away, but did you hear his tone change? It's all in the tone, not the words, but it's the tone. But, like, what, his but mother. my mother's been with me for, what, tw it'll be 21 years of my life. Like, I've known her forever. And it's a, it's a bond, there's a bond between us, like, that no, I can't get with anybody else. Mom, are you in a relationship? Do you have mm -hmm. a... Your husband? Mm -hmm. Married? Mm -hmm. You know, because usually this type of bond is usually when the mom is single. So I find it odd that, um, strange or it different that you are in a relationship with somebody. Um, well, I was a single mom for a lot of years. How and long? I bonded closely with the children mm -hmm. then. And, you know, I got in a relationship. Um, my husband knows how the relationship is. My children come first. He you know he's fine with that there's been many issues that have come up mm -hmm. with the kids that you know it's been they come first you know that's always anyone that enters and I'm gonna use my daughter here too that our circle mm -hmm. has to understand our relationship the depth of the relationship and we're more than first. but mom you're right about that because that is your responsibility as a mother that when you have children they do come first. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Like, like the, some man can't come in your life and expect to just pull you away. Moms leave all the time with some new man. Right. So I commend you for saying that your children come first. But it is different when a man leaves his mother's home to start a new family or even a relationship with a woman. Mom's not coming first. Not in that type of way. You know what I'm saying? She comes first in terms of love and, and commitment and um, history. But in terms of day to day, that's when mom leaves the cleaving of his mom's, um, when, this, when the son leaves his mom's breast, not, not literally, but you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and, and starts a new life on his own as a man. Justin has free will <laughs> to whom he spends his time with. It's not like I'm clinging on. There's been a lot of times where, uh, such as when Justin moved to Pittsburgh, you know, he didn't realize he was going to go. And that was part of pushing him, you're going to go, you're going to pursue your career. 
Um, but it's up to and, you, And, you Rachel. know, he comes back and he clings on even more, mm -hmm. you know? So it's not like I'm keeping him at my side and this is where you're, gonna, you're going to be and this is what you're going to do. Justin has free will. I agree, and he's not exercising it in the way that is healthy for Rachel. So that's up to you, Rachel. So what do you want to do? His mom says he has free will and he does. She's right. He does. So, um, and so do you. So it's your choice and you hold all the power, not him. You know that? Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do to make yourself feel better? I, it's, I, I definitely do not want to lose him, and I don't want to lose Catherine because I love them both so much. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to stay in this relationship? He's saying it's always going to be like this. So you will be married to him, you'll have babies, and his relationship with his mother will always be like this. Is that okay with you? I don't think... I don't think he will always be as close as he is now. I know that he, he will move on eventually. I just wish it would be a little sooner than it is. So you're going to stick around because, and hope that it changes? Oh, yeah. Okay. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I, <laughs> so you're looking to just like get it down? No. I don't want it to go away. I just... I know that I want it. I want us to have a family, and I want it to, to just be Justin and and my family. All right. Well, yeah. I, I wish you luck. You know, I'm not a fortune teller, but I did hold a uh, crystal ball in front of Barack Obama and said, "What do you see?" And he says, "The presidency." I have a crystal. And he, hello, holla. And um, I have a crystal ball right here, and I see you not being happy. But we make our choices, and like his mother said, there's free will. So 10 years from now, if you're with him and the mom is like that, he's still cleaving the mama's breast, that's the choice you made. And you have to live with that choice. Okay, so we'll be right back.